G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Till the Right One Comes by John Mayer. And this song is an absolute jam. In this lesson, I'll teach you how to play all the acoustic rhythm, but I'll also teach you how to play all the lead guitar on the electric. Now, if you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you're a beginner and you wanna improve on your guitar in general, then sign up at Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. So I'm gonna start by showing you the acoustic rhythm, which is really, really simple because there's just two chord progressions used throughout this whole song. So for the basics, you'll just need a guitar and standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the first fret of your guitar. Now later, I will teach you how to play it with the capo on third fret. So it's slightly different chord shapes, just depending on what sort of chord shapes you prefer playing. But this is the way I prefer to play it. So the intro, which is also the chorus and also the solo and also the outro, is a four chord chord progression. We're gonna start with the B minor, like that. And then we're gonna to go to an A chord. So from B minor, I just like shifting my index finger down one string and barring it across the four, third and second strings of the second fret relative to the capo. And then we go to a G and then a D chord shape. Now there's a really simple strumming pattern. It's just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now we're gonna be changing on the end beat after the two. So each strumming pattern has two chords within it. So the B minor to the A, one and two and three and four and. So the change is on the end beat after the two, it's an up strum. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And that's just played again and again for the intro, chorus, solo and outro rhythm parts. And one more time. Next we get to the verse and there's two lines of chords here. We're gonna start with the D chord and this is gonna be strummed for a full strumming pattern. So just the down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now for the second bar, we go to a G and D. Now the point at which we'll change chords is similar to what we had in the intro. So it's on the end beat after the two. So one and two and three and four and the third bar is identical, and then the fourth bar, we just play an A chord, and we're playing that for a full bar. So the first line of chords, one, two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, and three, and four, and. For the second line of chords, it's almost identical, except we change things up in the last two bars. So for the third bar, we have a G and we have a D and we have an A as well, all within the one bar. So the strumming pattern is still down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, but we're gonna change chords at two points. So the first point is on the end beat after the two, where we go to the D, and then on the end beat after the four, we go to the A. So one and two and three and four and. And then the final bar is A to D and we change chords on the end beat after the two. So the final bar, one and two and three and four and. So from the third and fourth bars, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And we put that all together for the second line of chords. and a verse in total. Next, let's move on to the break riff, which is played just before the guitar solo. And it's really fun to play. It's a quite a happy lick. So we're gonna start with the open fourth string, hit it again, and then second fret of the fourth string, hammer onto the fourth. 
and then go to the second fret of the third string. So that little section. And then second fret again of the third, back to the fourth fret of the fourth. And then we end with the second fret hammering onto the fourth fret of the third string. So in total for this bar. The next bar is identical, except at the end, instead of hammering on from the second fret and going to the fourth, we're hitting the second fret of the fourth string and pulling off to the open string. So the second bar. And that's it for the riff, and that just gets repeated, so. Now, if you don't like those particular chord shapes, then you can use the capo on the third fret. And for the intro, chorus, solo, and outro, you can be playing these chord shapes instead. So you can go A minor, G, and then F and C. So one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And for the verse, we can have the chords shown below, which will sound like this. Personally, I kind of prefer playing it with the capo on third, but, but I feel like the break riff isn't as fun to play with it here. So the break riff actually needs to be played like this. So you can do that with the capo on third, but for the playthrough at the end, I'll be using capo on first. Okay, so now I'll teach you all the lead guitar parts on the electric. Now let's start off with the intro and it's a lot of fun to play. Now in terms of tone, I've just got a clean amp uh, with some reverb and a clean boost. I'm using the neck pickup here. Now we're going to start with our index and middle finger on the 10th and 11th frets of the third and second strings. And we're just going to slide this up two frets to the 12th and 13th. And that occurs on the end beat after one. So one and, and then we'll go back to the 10th and 11th, pluck that. And then we'll go back up to the 12th and 13th. And now this is a ghost note. so. You can choose to play this if you want, or you can just play it really, really lightly. So like that. On the end beat after three, we'll slide our ring finger up to the 10th fret of the fifth string, and then index finger on the eighth fret of the fourth and back to the 10th fret of the fifth. So now this is just based off the E flat major pentatonic scale. For the next bar, we'll bar our index finger across the eighth frets of the fourth and third strings. We'll hit both those strings, but hammer our ring finger onto the tenth fret. And then lift our ring finger, pluck those strings again. And then ring finger on the tenth fret of the fifth string. And then we do that hammer on again. Hold that out for a bit, and then lift your ring finger, hit those, hit the fourth and third strings again. And then on the end beat after the four, back to the 10th fret of the fifth string. So this bar. For the third bar, we start off in a very similar way to the start of this intro. So we'll slide up to the 12th and 13th frets, then down to 10th and 11th, and back up to 12th and 13th. And that's not a ghost note, you can hit that, definitely. And then we'll slide up to the 10th fret of the fourth string, an eighth of the third and back to 10th. So that's just one string higher than what we did in the first bar. So this bar, one, two, and three, and four, and... For the fourth bar, we'll start with our index finger barred across the eighth fret again. So we'll do that double stop and hammer on our ring finger onto the 10th fret of the fourth string. Then lift it, hit those strings again, then 10th fret of the fifth string, and hit it and slide down to the eighth end on the 6th fret, or the E flat there. So that final bar. And the intro in total. One, two, three, Next we'll get to verse number one, and this is one line of tab here. So we're gonna take our index finger 
will basically bar index finger across the sixth fret or the fourth, third, and second strings. You'll pluck that fourth string and slide up to the eighth fret and then pluck the second string there. Now this is basically your E flat triad there. So same as the E flat bar chord, but we're just taking those three strings. So that first lick, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. For the next bar, we'll play an A flat triad. So just keep your ring finger barred here. You put your ring finger on the 10th fret of the fourth string and middle finger on the ninth fret of the second string. So if you've learned any of the other songs on John Mayer's album, like, like Shot in the Dark will Stop This Train, these shapes will be very familiar to you. But this is just based off a C chord shape. So if you take a C chord shape and keep shifting it up, and also shifting up the nut with it, you would end up with something like, looks like that. And that's an A flat note there. So it's an A flat major bar chord, but we're just taking those three strings, the fourth, third and second string there. So that bar, we start with that. On the end beat after the two, we go back to the E flat triad. So one and two and three and four and... And then for the next bar, we'll start with the mute and then We'll go to the A flat for one strum, another mute, and then back to the E flat. Hit that, hold it out for a beat. Hit it again, then mute, and then we'll go down to a B flat triad. So that's a really simple triad shape. It's just based off the B flat major bar chord. So one and two and three and four and and then for the final bar, we'll hit this another two times. One and, and then mute. And then we go down to this E flat triad. Now, again, this is the same as that C major shape, but we're just shifting it down until we're getting to the E flat and we're playing those three strings. So that's an E flat triad, but that's also an E flat triad. Just the order of the notes are swapped, but you still have those three same notes, the root note, the major third, and the fifth. So the last two bars, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... And in total for verse one from when the guitar comes in. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, Next we get to chorus one and there's three lines of tab here. So we're gonna start off with a C minor triad like this. So it's the same as that E flat triad, but with our ring finger on the 10th fret of the fourth string. And this is based off a C minor bar chord. We're just using those three notes there. So we're gonna strum this with a down, up, and then on the next down strum we'll mute. So down, up, mute. And then we'll go down to our B flat triad and hold that out for the rest of the bar. So one, two, and three, and four, and... And then for the next bar, we'll go down to an A flat triad. So it's the same shape, just down two frets. Same strumming pattern. So down, up, mute, and then on the up strum, or down strum, sort of up to you, we'll play that E flat triad. So one, two, and three, and four, and... So those two bars together, Now we're gonna be repeating those two bars again another two times, so really simple. Now for the third bar of the second line of tab, we're gonna slide up to the 10th fret of the fifth string and then double stop on the eighth fret for the fourth and third strings. And then 10th fret of the fourth string, and then we'll go down to this B flat triad, so. And then for the next bar, we're going to basically play what we had at the last bar of the intro, so. But we'll add a few more notes to the end. We'll hit the eighth fret, slide up to 10th, and then eighth fret of the fourth string, so. So these two bars, one, For the third line of tab, we're playing those same two bars that we had at the start. So. And 
and then we'll end this chorus number one with a cool little lick. So we'll start with our index and middle finger on the eighth frets of the third and second strings. You'll hit both of those strings and slide them up to 10th and 11th. So that shape that we had in the intro. So, so that's on the end bit after four. So one and two and three and four and... So for the next bar, we'll slide this up two frets and then we'll mute and then go down two frets, hit this twice, mute, and then go down to our eighth frets, hit this twice, mute, and then we'll basically go to our B flat triad, but we're only focusing on these two strings, so hit them twice, and then down to our A flat, but again, just focusing on these two notes, and then we end on our E flat triad. So that lick. And then to end this chorus, we'll slide our middle finger up to the fifth fret of the fourth string. And that will take us into the verse where we hit the fourth fret of the second, but we'll worry about that in a sec. In total, chorus number one. So verse two, we start with the fourth fret of the second string. So that's from that slide up to the fifth fret of the fourth string that we had at the end of that first chorus. So, so we'll hold those two notes. And then for the next bar, we'll go sixth fret of the fourth string, then the, the fourth fret of the second, back to the sixth of the fourth, and then lift your ring finger, go back to the fifth fret of the fourth string. So four notes there, one and two and We'll play our A-flat triad here for the next bar. So we'll start with the mute, and then on the up pluck, I hit the sixth fret of the fourth string, and then I hit the third and second strings after that. So, and then down to our E-flat triad, hit that, hold it out for a beat, hit it again, and then on the end beat after the four, hit the fourth string, slide it up to the eighth fret, and so we got B-flat triad here, and on the next one bit, we'll hit the third and second strings. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and... Now to end this bar, we again are gonna take out your next finger, hit it and slide it up to the eighth fret from the sixth. And then we'll hit the third and second strings of that E flat triad. And then the rest of it is the same as the verse number one, so. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so verse number two in total. So next we get to chorus number two and it's identical to chorus number one, except we're not playing that lead lick at the end of the chorus, we're just ending with the... Next we get to the break and for the electric guitar, it's just playing one note, which is that E flat note, sixth fret of the fifth string, and we're plucking with a down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And that's palm muted as well, so take the fleshy bit of your palm, rest it lightly on the edge of the bridge. So. And it's just repeated again and again for that break. When it, we jump into the solo, this the clean guitar keeps playing that E flat note, but with a different pattern, it goes. 
and that sort of repeats over and over. But now after the solo, there's another break. Now this is played on keys, but I'll show you how you can play it on the electric guitar if you want. So we're at the eighth and sixth frets of the first and second string. Now you'll hit both those strings and you'll hammer on your pinky finger onto the eighth fret of the first string. That's on the first beat, on the two beat. Then we'll go to the sixth fret of the first and second strings, eighth fret of the third and second, and then down to fifth and sixth frets of the third and second string. So the first bar. Now for the next bar, we start off the same way that we did in the first bar, except we're just gonna play everything up one string. So third and second strings. Then we go back down to the sixth and fifth frets here. Then eighth frets of the fourth and third strings. And then down to fifth of those same two strings. So the second bar. And the break number two in total. Now in the actual song for verse number three, there's slide guitar going on there. I'm not much of an expert on slide guitar, so I'm just going to be playing verse number two again on top of verse number three in terms of the electric lead guitar. The third chorus is identical to the second chorus, except for that third line of tab, we're playing that through seven times. And then we get to a fourth line of tab, which is the outro. And this is really fun to play. So double stop on the eighth fret of the fourth and third strings. And we're going to hit those notes and hammer on to the 10th fret. And, and then on our next up pluck, hit that 10th fret again, and then lift it and hit the eighth frets. So. And then on the next up pluck, we'll hit the eighth fret of the fourth string. And then you'll quickly just shift your ring finger to the eighth fret of the fifth string, hit it and slide up to the 10th fret. So like that. After that slide, hit the eighth fret of the fourth string, then 10th fret of the fifth, slide down to eighth, and then end on the sixth fret of the fifth string. So this riff in total. faster and then for the next bar we just end with the A flat and E flat right next we get to the solo in terms of tone I'm now using the middle pickup and I'm also adding a tube screamer to this clean amp and I'm just bumping up that reverb so it's a little bit more prominent in the mix so for the first lick we go 10th fret of the fourth string twice and then eighth fret of the third string, bend up the tenth fret of the third string. We'll bend it up to the top, don't release it, just mute that and then quickly go to the sixth fret of the second string, hit that and slide up to the eighth. So that slowly. For the next lick, we'll hit the 8th fret of the 3rd string twice. Then we'll hit the 10th fret and we'll bend this up one and a half tones. So that will be equivalent to the tone on the 11th fret of the G string. Release it and then bend it up a full tone, not a tone and a half. So that will be equivalent to the 10th fret. This is all in one motion. Release it and then end on the 8th fret. So this lick. For the third lick, we go up to 13th fret of the fourth string, hit this twice. Then 12th fret of the third string, hit the 13th fret, bend that, release and bend up again and hold it up at the top, so. And this lick in total. For the final lick, we'll hit the 11th fret of the first string, and then the 13th fret of the third, we'll hit it, bend it up, release, bend up again, release, and then pull off to the 11th fret, and then end on the 13th fret of the fourth string. So. So just four little phrases there. The first one. The second one. The 
the third. And the fourth. So now I'll be doing two playthroughs of the song. The first playthrough will be all the lead electric guitar and the second playthrough will just be the acoustic rhythm. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to these playthroughs. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to and see how you go. Sinners, you have gone straight. I said, I walk alone with one more. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.